Alright, let's go. Do we really want Do we really want him as an ally? He's only got one arm. You killed your mother. Attack Arkin. Senya's dead. I killed her. No, she wouldn't fall to you. In her final moments, she begged for Valkorian's embrace and wept for the children who failed her. Ah! Oh! <laughs> He's still trying to kill me. Oh, I should have just attacked him. Damn it! Damn, damn, I let him get away again. Cough. Arkans escaping. Now would be a good time for the side arm pieces and stop them. Fight your own battles. I can't stand this guy. Kill them all. Why didn't I attack him? Dang it. Valen's gonna disintegrate her family, along with half of Voth. Who's that? Ships belong to the Sith Empire. Maybe they want to join our alliance. Arkan escaped. That's all that matters. Arkan will return. And I'll crush him the second he shows his metal capped face. You have not earned such confidence. Consider the cost of your hard won victory. Thousands killed. A planet devastated. A mother's sacrifice. There is only one way to end this chaos and bring order to the galaxy. You must seize the eternal throne. I'm going to continue with the dark side theme, so here we go. As the supreme leader of Sakul, no one could challenge me. You were wrath made flesh. You destroyed my enemies and made the Dark Lords tremble. You were the Alliance commander, champion of fear, and conqueror of my every challenge. No one is more worthy of taking the throne. Not even my children. I alone deserve the greatest power in the galaxy. Then you must seize it. The Eternal Throne is yours for the taking. It is your destiny. Oh, they retreated! This shouldn't have happened. This is your fault! I gave the Gemini droids the freedom to choose. They simply made a choice you didn't like. Mother should have been mine. I'm going to dismantle every one of those droids. By fixating on Senya, you neglected a much greater threat. The Outlander. My father was there too. I felt him. And you chose to ignore him. You've been thinking like a child. Focus on the big picture. I see it now. It's all connected. And the Outlander is the key. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It is an honor to finally speak to you. Who's this? Skip the pleasantries. Tell me what you want. Very well. Straight to the point, then. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. 
So, you come groveling to the Alliance to fix your problems? If I remember correctly, my fleet solved your last problem. I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. I spent too long in the Empire to trust a word of this. Then allow me to demonstrate my allegiance. While you were frozen in Carbonite, many things changed. Come to Droman Kass. See for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. What would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. We can meet, but you pull anything, and the Alliance will be storming your world by sundown. I know better than to get on your bad side. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit. We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Dig up Asina's secrets. I expect results. I always deliver. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting. All right, it seems like that's it. That's the end of chapter one. So I'm going to try and put out a chapter per day, um, depending on my work schedule. So thanks for watching. You guys know what to do. Comment, rate, subscribe. Catch you on the flip side. Adios.